Yo, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing freaking awesome. So, here's a question I get asked a lot. That's how do you make a moto vlog helmet? Well, I'm here to tell you I'm gonna make this quick video for you guys. I got three different styles of helmets. I got my brand new one, I got my old one, and I got a motocross dirt bike style helmet here. And pretty much, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it, step by step. I'm gonna be as informational as possible. And here we go, we're gonna build a helmet in this video. So stay tuned after the intro and we'll do this thing, yeah. All right guys, let's get right into it. I'm actually gonna take these helmets and put them on the ground because we're gonna be focusing on this helmet right now, but I will talk about these later. So we're gonna be focusing on this helmet. This is my new HJC CL17 helmet. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, I like it so far. And uh, we're gonna be setting it up with a Moto Vlog setup. So I'll put these on the ground. All right, so here's how this whole thing works. You have your camera, and once you have your camera, you get an adapter. In this case, it's gonna be a 3.5 millimeter adapter, and from your adapter, you have a microphone that plugs right into the adapter. Everything is plug and play, so once you have that set up, all you have to do is find a way to set that up into your helmet. And that's pretty much it. I mean, every helmet is going to be different too. So this is a different style helmet as you saw from the other ones. I actually haven't built a Motovlog helmet out of this one, but the same rules apply. You just have to kind of work at it to, to get things figured out and where you're gonna place it too. So this is what we're gonna be working on and let's get right into it. I'm gonna tell you guys everything that I have bought and that I continue to buy. It's also gonna be in the description if you guys wanna check it out. They're very, it's very cheap. It's actually a really cheap, uh, set up and it works great for me. So this is what I've been using since day one um, On YouTube. So this the microphone adapter is a Movo GMA 100 mic adapter. It's a 3.5 millimeter if you're using a GoPro camera, which is what I have right here It's gonna be 3.5 millimeters. So make sure you have that one heading over to the microphones We have this is a pack. I might as well open them up. But this is a pack of 10 lapel microphones they're very cheap they're like a dollar they come to like a dollar ten i bought a pack of ten of them just because uh, you do get a little bit of discount once you buy in bulk much like anything else and check that out i bought a whole bunch of them the reason i bought a whole bunch of them was because they do tend to break and i really really put these to use like i'm out in the winter time i'm out in the rain i'm out in the everything so i put these to use and they actually they break after a while, so I will let you guys know that. They do break. Um, I think probably I go through one every four months. Um, I've certainly gone through a few of them since I started YouTube. Um, so keep that in mind, but I do think that they are quality. They sound good once they're plugged in, but they do break eventually. The thing is, I don't want to buy a, an expensive microphone because I put these things through so many things. You know, like I could catch uh, my microphone wire on a branch or something and I don't want to pay $20 to $50 for a microphone that's gonna get snagged on a branch and then break. So I buy these really cheap ones, a dollar ten to a dollar fifty a piece, depending on how many you buy. And I think they work well for me. Uh, certainly you guys have probably seen my video so you know how it sounds. Um, I could give you guys a test at the end of this if you are interested. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You have your camera, you have your adapter, and you have your microphone. One thing I wanna keep in mind, if you do buy these, I'll say it real quick, is you wanna tape these down, these little wind buffers. You wanna tape it down because they will fly off in the wind. So now for one of the most important parts of this whole Motovlog helmet build, is you need to get a case that has an opening for your adapter to go into. And as you can see right here, on this particular case, I actually burnt a hole right through the side of it, where you can see the USB port. And that's exactly where the adapter goes into the camera. So you can actually buy uh, cases online that have an opening already cut for you. But if you are doing a lot of like uh, riding in the rain and snow like I do, you're gonna wanna make it as waterproof as possible. So that's why I chose to actually burn a hole. And uh, this hole is actually just about the same size as the adapter that plugs into it. So it's more waterproof than if you had this whole uh, side of the case open. So I'll, I'll definitely have a link for you guys for the cases that have the opening. Um, you can buy them fairly cheap online. Um, if you wanna check out any of the things that are, are discussed in this video, you can check out my website, ridemorestore.com. They're gonna have everything there for you. It's gonna be all on a list. 
or you can just check the links in the description but everything's going to be right there for you guys but if you want to just burn a hole in the case that you already have i would suggest a wood burning tool that's what i've used on all of my camera uh, cases and it works pretty good like this is a really snug fit once it's in there so uh, that's what i did for this particular case and yeah that's pretty much what you need to do in order for your adapter to feed into the camera and that's where you're going to get your audio so that needs to be done probably one of the most important steps of this whole thing is just to, to get a, a case that has an opening for your adapter to feed into so with that aside we can actually start throwing this on the helmet every helmet's going to be different again so you just want to figure out first where you want to put your gopro this helmet is different than my other helmets as you saw i'll actually pull it up right now this helmet for instance i have it on the uh the visor on the top which is completely separate from the actual visor so i put it on the top it works for me for this particular helmet but it will not work for this helmet because you have to have the visor flip up and if you put it here it's going to catch on the camera so keep that in mind. I'm not gonna put it on the top of this helmet. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it right on the front of this helmet. Since this is a curved surface, I'm gonna to wanna to go with the curved mount to match the surface. So we're gonna stick that on there right now. Get that peel in action right there. Being sure to center it correctly as best I can. Press it down firmly to make sure to adhesive is on the whole part of the helmet so there we have it you guys can see I put the adhesive backing right up against it and it's pretty smooth pretty nice it's actually a perfect perfect uh, match for the helmet so that's gonna work great so now that we have the sticky mount on here we can actually throw the GoPro on there just to see what it looks like here's where the pivot mounts come into place you wanna just kind of mess around with your mounts and get it correct so that it's not obstructing your view when you're actually wearing the helmet and uh, it's also at a, a correct angle. So I'm gonna throw this on there. All right, check it out. So we got the camera on the helmet. So we're a third of the way done. Pretty easy so far, right? All right, so now that that's on there, again, you wanna make sure this is really secure on there. Now that the camera is on the helmet, we're gonna move over to our adapter our Movo GMA 100 3.5 millimeter adapter. So, I'm gonna open this up, and that's what it looks like right there, if you guys can see. We're gonna simply plug this in to where we opened up the skeleton case on the camera. Just gonna plug it right in. All right, now that that's all set up in place, I'll show you guys again what that looks like. Boom, just like that. I pretty much just wanted to put this on there just to see where the adapter wants to sit on the actual helmet because again the microphone is going to go right through there and from the microphone wire is going to go right through the uh, inside of the helmet so now we move on to the microphone and we have probably a good three feet of wire to work with which is nice it's nice to have more than less um, so we're going to plug this into the adapter just to see and then we're going to flip this around and most helmets have little, uh, the foam has clips on them, so you can just pull them off just like that. So I can pretty much pull my whole foam off if I wanted to. But I'm only going to pull a few off because I want to be able to tuck the wire from the microphone inside the helmet. So this is where it kind of takes a little bit of working with. Um, you have to experiment with different lengths and different areas that need to feed through your helmet. Like I said, Every helmet's different, but pretty much your main goal is to hide the wire as much as you can. And you want to have enough so that the microphone is placed right on the front of the helmet on the inside. Because that's where you're going to be talking through. So, I'm going to go ahead and tape this into place just for now. Tape the, the end of the microphone just right in the front. Just for now, so that we can mess around with the wire and see um, exactly what we're dealing with here. You don't want the wire to be crimped or bent in any way. Um, you don't want to have any problems later on down the road with uh, your microphone breaking out. Um, so I'm just going to kind of mess around with how I place the wire inside the foam. Again, every helmet's going to be different, so you're going to have to mess around with it a little bit. But what we do know is that this is going to be 
the adapter is going to be placed somewhere about right here. So the microphone wire is going to enter the helmet right about here. Just like that. To reduce wires being shown on the outside of the helmet. Again, for catching things and whatnot. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to mess around with wiring the, feeding the wire through the helmet. And then I'll get back to you. Oh, all right guys, so breaking a sweat doing this. It is gonna take you a bit of time, so give yourself plenty of time to do it. But uh, as you can see here, I'll grab the camera again, I'll show you. Let's see if we can get a better shot. I have my microphone taped down right here. The wire feeds right into this foam piece right here. And underneath this foam piece, I have all the wires. So you can barely see, I don't know if you can see any of the wires that I wired through there, but it goes from here, the microphone, all the way through here. I tucked it in behind this, which also snaps out. And then also behind this foam piece right here, through that little tiny lip right there. And that's pretty much where it feeds into the helmet. So check it out. That's what it looks like on a table. That's pretty much the best way you can do it with this particular helmet. Um, because, I mean, you're gonna have this you're gonna have this piece showing no matter what you do. So just to, to minimize it as much as possible, which I did right here. Um, and then, yeah, of course, feed it through. And that's pretty much it. I mean, all the hard stuff is done now. That was pretty much the hardest part is just wiring up your microphone. But now I'll show you guys a quick little way to get that set on there so you don't have to just leave tape on it. As you can see, actually, on this one, this is Velcro. So if you had another Velcro piece, you could actually Velcro your microphone to it. That's not what I was thinking, but that might end up being what I do with this one. Again, every helmet's different, so yeah, so I'm happy with that. I think it looks pretty good. Not too bad. Alright guys, so back at you, I actually just got the microphone attached to the helmet. If you guys can see that right there, I actually went with the Velcro idea. I have this 3M velcro tape right there so i just stuck that wrapped it all the way around the end of the microphone and it's pretty solid it's not going to go anywhere and there's going to be no wind hitting it anyway so i'm I'm happy with that i think that's going to work good what i was going to do if that didn't work i was going to take a uh, hot glue gun and just put a dab of hot glue on there and then press my microphone to it um if you don't want to do that on your helmet i guess you could just put tape all the way around the mouth of it but I would suggest either hot glue or if you have 3M Velcro on hand to do it that way. But there are a few different ways to do it, but I would suggest either hot glue or the 3M. But I'm happy with that. Nah, that's pretty much it. That's the whole build. I have this thing all set up, ready to make more videos for you guys. All right, guys, before you go, I have a way that's going to make this whole process so much more easy. Like ridiculously, like skipping steps easy. These orange things that I have right here in my hands, I actually picked up two of them. I just found these guys on the internet. These are Dango Design gripper mounts. Okay, and if you don't know what they do, I'll give you a close up look. If you don't know what they do already, it's got a super strong spring on it, which you use on your helmet to attach to your helmet like this. Check this out, so quick. Boom, just like that, let go. The spring holds it in place and that is not going anywhere. Very cool. I, I'm actually really impressed with these. So far, I, I still have to use them, of course, but I'm pretty confident that these are going to work great. Um, all you do, I mean, it eliminates the sticky mount, it eliminates the GoPro arms. All you got to do is slap your camera on there, one little pin, and stick it on your helmet, plug it in, and then you're good. Like, it's, like I said, skipping steps easy. So I'm anxious to try it out. I mean, you can pull it right out of the box, slap it on there, and you're good to go. And what's really cool about this, and I think I'm gonna use this feature a lot, if you wanna take it off, you take it off easy. If I wanna give my camera to a friend, I give it to a friend, he can put it on his helmet, or he can hold it like a handheld, which, I mean, it's, you just hold it just like that. It's got the little wristband for it, so you can hold it. Or, if you wanna stick it on a tree or something, you just clamp it to a tree, or if you want to use it as a tripod, 
it stands up like a tripod. <sighs> so I'm really impressed with these guys. Again, Dango Design. Um, everything is going to be linked in the description. So if you want to check these out. Also, another cool feature, the camera actually pivots on a little spring. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I mean, there's so, so many cool features on this little thing. So that's why I picked up two of them. I'm really confident these are going to work. Um, I will, of course, be doing a review on these later on on my Ride More Reviews channel. So uh, stay tuned for that, but pretty excited about these things. I could have told you guys this in the beginning, but I wanted to make a video on just the traditional way that people set up motovlogging helmets, but I have a feeling this little gadget is gonna redesign the way that people set up motovlogging helmets, because, I mean, check that out, it's just so easy. You just clip it on, plug it in, and you're good to go. So I'm um, very, very anxious to try those out. Um, if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Share it with your friends, all your, <clears throat> all your motor vlogging buddies. And uh, yeah, I want to say thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, if it, it was informational. If you have any questions whatsoever, drop me a line in the comments. I love talking with you guys. You know that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. Um, feel free to, to email me too. Jeremy rides at gmail.com or ride more store at gmail.com. Go ahead and check out the ride more store while you're at it. I got some cool goodies on there and uh, yeah, we'll say goodbye to you right now. My friends, thanks for watching. I'm going to say kaboom, but I can't reach the camera cause you're a little far away. Kaboom. All right guys, check it out. If you can hear me right now, that means the microphone works, the adapter works, and the GoPro work all together. Pretty cool. I actually have my handheld camera on the gripper mount as well. I forgot to tell you guys that, but handheld cameras work on gripper mounts. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. I wanted to hop out here and show you guys this and see, see what it sounds like so you guys can hear it. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Oop.